Hey everyone, thank you so much for visiting my channel. We're going to get started with today's video and what topic it is. It was actually chosen by my Instagram and they chose the topic of nannies versus babysitters. But it's funny because um, on my poll, everyone that picked this were parents, so it makes sense that they would want to know. So yeah, this is for you parents. Okay, so, um, so I think that there are four main differences between a nanny and a babysitter and I want to briefly explain what they are. So first, we have the qualifications. So to be a nanny, you should have childcare knowledge, right? And at least three years of childcare experience. So with that, you'll also need a degree in a childcare related field, such as ECE, which stands for Early Childhood Education, counseling, art, music, um, something that relates to children and their development. Also, it would help if you were first aid and CPR certified. Um, and to be a babysitter, most families don't require a degree or a certain amount of years of childcare experience for you to be a babysitter. But being first aid and CPR certified would help, but you don't have to be either. Second difference would be the responsibilities. So as a nanny, some of your responsibilities may include tasks for the parents, like checking the mail, doing the dishes, taking the child to the doctor's appointments, um, scheduling activities, play dates, um, planning meals for the child, or maybe the parents too, prepping them for kindergarten, keeping up with their milestones, introducing them to the world. And also as a nanny, you are focused more on child development, which includes the growth of their mental and physical health, okay? As a babysitter, your main responsibility is to just be an extra set of eyes for the parents while they're out. Um, you and the children probably play, these birds are going crazy out here. Um, you and the children will probably be playing uh, or a lot or watching TV or they might even be asleep. But if you find out you're doing a majority of what was mentioned as a nanny, you're most likely a nanny and should be getting compensated like one. Which brings us to the third difference, um, the pay. So nannies usually earn a salary because they are working consistently 40 hours or more per week. Um, the care is ongoing. So where babysitters are more on call or on an as needed basis. So depending on your area, this all varies, of course, and like I said, your area. Um, but 40,000 a year is about the average for a nanny and a babysitter is about 25,000. Um, according to my research, um, on the ballpark averages for nannies and babysitters. Um, and also nannies are W-2 employees as well. And then the last um, one will bring me to the schedule. So like I mentioned above, nannies work maybe 40 hours or more per week. Babysitters might work two or three hours a day, maybe like 15 to 20 hours a week. Um, the schedule may or may not be consistent. Also, there are live-in nannies, so like myself, who live in with the family they work for. And our contracts are a little different than live-out nannies, um, mainly because of flexibility and availability. So that's why people will choose a live-in nanny over a live-out, because of flexibility um, and availability. Um, but yeah, so if you're trying to decide whether or not you want a nanny or a babysitter, I hope this helped you understand and what um, and what you should require and expect um, from either or. I will have an interview soon with the family I work for to explain their thought process of hiring a nanny and the process of actually hiring a nanny, the steps they took and everything. Um, so if you are a babysitter wanting to transition to a nanny or not yet a babysitter and looking to become one, please subscribe, like, comment on what you may need help with. I plan on creating a video for the transition steps for you. Um, most nannies start off um, as babysitters, so if you aren't where you want to be yet, just keep working towards it and building those um, letters of references up or phone numbers and you'll land an amazing paying or an amazing lifestyle from nannying or both uh, if you're lucky. Um, if you're a parent and you're looking for good help, care.com is a great place to find people and also Facebook babysitter groups. Do not sleep on those Facebook babysitter groups. Um, just make sure you do your own screening as far as background checks, FBI clearance, child abuse, criminal history, and let the babysitter know your expectations and always treat your babysitter with respect and communicate with them too well very very important but guys i hope this helps you thank you for watching all the links you need to follow me will be posted in this description somewhere below um yeah so if you have any questions please comment like subscribe follow thanks bye